Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. Fallon, and we're back with Spot Run Storytime, Episode 6. In this series, we're reading the book Sideways Stories from Wayside School. Quick, get up, Spot Run. Your challenge is to spot run the whole time Mr. Fallon reads their story. We're on Chapter 6. Chapter 6 is all about Bebe. Bebe was a girl with short brown hair, a little BB nose, totally tiny toes, and big brown eyes. Her full name was BB Gun. She was the fastest draw in Mrs. Jewel's class. She could draw a cat in less than 45 seconds, a dog in less than 30, and a flower in less than 8 seconds. Do you think Miss Bowen can draw that fast? But of course, Bibi never drew just one dog or one cat or one flower. Art was from 12.30 to 1.30. Why in that time, she could draw 50 cats, 100 flowers, 20 dogs, and several eggs or watermelons. It took her the same amount of time to draw a watermelon as an egg. Kelvin sat next to Bibi. He didn't think he was very good at art. Why, it took him the whole period just to draw one airplane. So instead, he just helped Bibi. He was Bibi's assistant. As soon as Bibi would finish one masterpiece, Kelvin would take it from her and set down a clean sheet of paper. Whenever her crayon ran low, Kelvin was ready with a new crayon. That way, Bibi didn't have to waste any time. And in return, Bibi would draw five or six airplanes for Kelvin. It was 12.30. Time for art! Bibi was ready. On her desk was a sheet of yellow construction paper. In her hand was a green crayon. Kelvin was ready. He held a stack of paper and a box of crayons. Ready, Bibi? said Kelvin. Ready, Kelvin, said Bibi. Okay, said Mrs. Jules. Time for art. She had hardly finished her sentence when Bibi had already drawn a picture of a leaf. Kelvin took it from her and put another piece of paper down. Red, called Bibi. Kelvin handed Bibi a red crayon. Blue, called Bibi. He gave her a blue crayon. They were quite a pair. Their teamwork was remarkable. Bibi drew pictures as fast as Kelvin could pick up the old paper and set down the new. A fish, an apple, three cherries. Bing, bing, bing. At 1.30, Mrs. Jules announced, Okay, class, art is over. Bibi dropped her crayon and fell over on her desk. Kelvin sighed and leaned back in his chair. He could hardly move. They had broken their old record. Bibi had drawn 378 pictures. They lie in a pile on Kelvin's desk. Mrs. Jules walked by. Kelvin, did you draw all these pictures? Kelvin laughed. <laughs> no, I can't draw. Bibi drew them all. Well then, what did you draw? asked Mrs. Jules. I didn't draw anything, said Kelvin. Why not? Don't you like art? asked Mrs. Jules. I love art. That's why I didn't draw anything. Mrs. Jules didn't understand. It would have taken me the whole period just to draw one picture, said Kelvin. And Bibi would only have been able to draw a hundred pictures. But with the two of us working together, she was able to draw 378 pictures. That's a lot more art. Bibi and Calvin shook hands. No, said Mrs. Jules. That isn't how you measure art. It isn't how many pictures you have, but how good the pictures are. Why, a person could spend his whole life just drawing one picture of a cat. In that time, I'm sure Bibi could draw a million cats. Two million, said Bibi. Mrs. Jules continued. But if that one picture is better than each of Bibi's two million, then that person has produced more art than Bibi. Bibi looked as if she was going to cry. She picked up all the pictures from Calvin's desk and threw them in the garbage. Then she ran from the room. I thought her pictures were real good, said Calvin. He reached into the garbage panel and took out a crumpled up picture of an airplane. Bibi walked outside into the playground. Louis, the art teacher, spotted her. Where are you going? he asked. I'm going home to draw a picture of a cat, said Bibi. 
Will you bring it to school and show it to me tomorrow, Lewis asked. Tomorrow? By tomorrow, I doubt I'll have even finished one whisker. All right, boys and girls, that was chapter six. Are you still spot running? Mr. Fallon forgot to put his steps from chapter five on his video yesterday. So I'm going to put those up today and the steps for today's video right here. See if you can beat my steps. Boys and girls, have an amazing day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.